Y'all, one of my favorite people in the Bible is Jonah. <laughs> Not because of childhood memories about Jonah being in the belly of the big fish. That's what the Bible calls him, the big fish. Not because it's a quick read, you know, it's a short book of the Bible. But the reason why I like Jonah is because Jonah had an attitude when the Lord told him to go do something. And then when he got his, himself together, I was about to say he got his life together. It was only after he had to go through. <laughs> and then he went and did what the Lord told him to do. And then he had an attitude with the Lord because the people actually repented after Jonah obeyed the Lord and gave them the message that they wanted. And then Jonah was pouting. Listen, I love the book of Jonah because I feel like that be me. <laughs> I can identify with Jonah. Because so I'd be like, Lord, you want me to do what? Was that message for me? Like, he the God of the whole universe and he know exactly how to get to you. And I'd be like, are you, are you sure? <laughs> Did I hear that right? So... Jonah gives me hope. I mean, of course, there's other people in the Bible who didn't want to do what the Lord told them, and they got themselves together, and they went. And then, of course, there are people in the Bible who, when the Lord told them, they were like, I'm going. And I have done some other videos on this, too. Like, uh, in the New Testament, when it, he was still Saul at the time, before he became Paul, and he saw Jesus on the way to uh, Damascus, and Ananias had the dream, like I did a video on my Facebook page, the Clarisma Jones page, uh, Clarisma Jones Live, where it was like, Ananias was like, uh, Lord, you want me to go lay hands on who? The guy who was persecute, persecuting Christians like me? You? You sure you want me to do that? See, people like that, I'd be like, that just is another example for me of how God uses regular, schmegular people like me. For his glory. Okay, but back to Jonah. I took to go on my tangent about Ananias because he came to mind. But Jonah. It's so interesting that Jonah got himself together and then still was acting up. I was like, it's funny to me. It's comical because I find humor in a lot of things. I be reading the Bible, cracking up, laughing. Okay, but if you look at... Jonah, chapter 3, verse 10. So after Jonah then got out the belly of the whale, gone to the city of Nineveh, told them what God said, they repent. God says in verse 10. Oh, no, it says in verse 10. Uh, so Jonah, chapter 3, verse 10. Then God saw their works, so the people of Nineveh, that they turned from their evil way, and God relented from the disaster that he said. He would bring upon them, and he did not do it. So for me, I also love this book because it's an example of me of how God changes his mind. Like, he'll be like, listen, this is what I'm finna do if you don't get it together. And then when we get it together, he'd be like, all right. He changes course and does something else. And I'd be like, ooh, <laughs> thank you for grace and mercy. And then it's funny to me, so then Jonah got upset. And the Lord is like, in chapter 4, verse 4, the Lord is like, is it right for you to be angry? Like, God be so good. I'd be like laughing at some of the stuff he say again, because I'd be like, me and God be having those types of conversations too. And then Jonah is like still mad. So like, even if you skip down, you got to read the book yourself, because I got so many things that I could say. But in verse 9, so him and Jonah still going back and forth. And God is like, then God said to Jonah, is it right for you to be angry about the plant? Like the plant that, <laughs> read the story. And then Jonah says, and he said, is it right for me to be angry? He said, it is right for me to be angry, even to death. <laughs> Jonah, you talking to the God of the universe, the same God who just put you in the belly of the fish because you was acting up and didn't do what he wanted to do. So listen, y'all, let's get our lives together and let's do what the Lord is saying, okay? Because first of all, I don't want to end up in the belly of no fish. Definitely don't want to end up in Hades. Listen, as I have told people, I just want to make it in. 
I want to make it to heaven if I got to be a janitor in heaven, sweeping the streets of gold with a toothbrush. As long as I'm in heaven, that's cool. But listen, let's get it together.